This is Plateau by Valley. It's a popular and extremely customizable plate reverb module based on the Totoro design. Here are some examples of how this bad boy can sound. A plate reverb is a synthetic reverberation system that uses a tensioned steel plate supported by springs that's attached to a casing. When a sound source hits the plate, the vibrations inside the case create the illusion of reverb and that's exactly what's going on with this virtual module. The Plateau's manual provides a diagram of its algorithm. The important point is that when the signal input hits this reverberation tank, it's like hitting the steel plate. Here's the module. These are the main left and right inputs and the left and right outputs. The pre-delayed knob extends the time it takes for the original signal to hit the reverberation tank, which in turn causes the reverberated signal. It spans from a time of 0 milliseconds all the way left to 500 milliseconds all the way right. The dry and wet knobs control the mix of the original signal and the reverberated signals. Here it is uh, fully dry. Here it is fully wet. And here it is 50-50 mix. This section controls a low pass and high pass filter for the input signal. There's also a low pass and high pass filter for the reverberated signal located here. This is an example of changing these knobs live. The size knob alters the apparent size of the reverberation and the delay length. It ranges from 0 to 1, where 0 is very small and 1 is enormous. Here's how they sound. The decay knob sets how quickly the reverberated signal diminishes. Here are some examples of it at min, max, and middle. The diffusion knob alters how smeared the reverb is. At minimum, it produces a delay type effect, and at maximum, it's ultra smear. These are the diffusion input trigger and tuned mode trigger, respectively. When tune mode is engaged, it shortens the delay time and tunes the all-pass filters to 1 volt per octave. When diffuse input is engaged, it pre-diffuses the input signal before it hits the virtual reverberation chamber. This is activated by default. The hold button will cause the sound to infinitely reverberate. This toggle button switches the hold button between toggle and momentary. The clear button will clear the reverberation chamber, stopping all of the current reverberated signal. This is the coolest part for last. These are the modulation controls. They detune the reverberated signal. Mod rate alters how fast the modulation occurs. Mod depth alters the degree of modulation. And mod shape will alter the LFO shape associated with the modulation. 
it is inverted ramp all the way left, triangle at 50%, and ramp all the way right. Here's how it sounds. The Plateau is available for free, and you can find it on the VCV Rack Library page by searching Plateau or by subscribing to Valley on the Plugins page. That's all for this one. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this kind of content, you can let me know that by liking and subscribing. If you're really digging this content, you can check out more videos like this in the linked playlist. Um, you can also find various ways to support my channel in the description. I'll catch you in the next video.